Hello and welcome to a tutorial in Second Life on building. Okay, this tutorial is brought to you by 3dmodeldesign.co.uk and the avatar, which is me here, is Brilliant Frog in Second Life. Okay, start by clicking the build to create a new object. It brings up the window, the build window, and you click the tool, the create tool, which looks like a magic wand. By clicking on one of the shapes, you can build lots of shapes in Second Life. By clicking on one of the shapes, say a, a cube, you can add a cube to the land. Here, this cube can now be edited by yourself and manipulated to create lots of other better shapes or objects, such as furniture and buildings, etc. Now, there is a range of tools under the Edit Tool option. If you click Edit, you'll notice that you've got Position. Now that means you can move the object around the three-dimensional world of Second Life. Okay. Now we have a floating cube. You can rotate the object round, like so. And if you have Snap to Grid turned on, you can shift it like that, using east, west, south, and more accurately, basically. Uh, the stretch tool will help you stretch the object. All of it's fairly uh, straightforward, are the tools, and we can change the shape of the, the cube. Okay, there's something about Second Life, it does have a, um, a restriction on the size of each shape. So for example, for a cube and for all shapes, you can only have 10 by 10 by 10, as 10 meters by 10 meters by 10 meters in size. And there we have a very, very large cube. I'll just bring it up because it's slightly underground. Voila. Monstrous cube. Now that sound, seems like a, a quite a large size. However, if you're making a building or a large structure of some kind, 10 by 10 isn't that big. So that restriction is, is quite annoying, really. Um, so you'll have to use quite a few shapes to build larger objects such as buildings so maybe you'd like to create a wall for example I'll just show you how to make a wall stretch it bring it down in size oh, notice that I've actually got a, um, an option turn on called stretch both sides you can actually just stretch one side so we can just stretch from that corner to there or from there inwards like so and there we have a, our wall a huge wall made of 10 by 10. But say we were building a skyscraper building, we'd like to. We're going to have to put other 10 by 10 blocks there or next to this, so that we can increase the size of the building. Now you can use a range of methods for duplicating the shape that you've already created. You see, you've created a shape. You don't want to have to recreate it again. So the best idea is to just click duplicate. That gives you a duplicate of that object. Okay. However, it's not in the same place as the other object, which is a bit annoying because it changes all the, the positioning and the uh, of where it is in the space, its coordinates. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to show you a way to clone the object. You click the object and you click the magic wand create tool and you click on copy selection and you turn off rotate copy, you have center copy on, you make sure the object's selected and you click. And as you can see, it adds a clone of that object to the side of the object where you clicked. Now if I could just click and edit this object, I'll just delete that one. So for example, why is this really useful? Is that if I want to perfectly align another block on top of this one to create a higher wall, I can go to this copy selection, center copy, click the top of the object oops it is, I need to select the object first select the object first, click on the top of the object and there we go, voila another block is added to the top of that one and we can go on like that forever and that is how you'd make the walls of a, of a structure larger than 10 meters by 10 meters okay I'm going to go into that into a tutorial on that and its benefits later and you can find it on YouTube or on 3dmodeldesign.co.uk so for now that's as far as I'm going to go on that area I'm lastly just going to show you about objects I'm going to show you how to change the texture 
Okay, let's just change the size of this by clicking it, clicking stretch, bringing the size down, okay, and just turning around. And now what we can do is we can look at that object, edit it, and now I'm going to change this, the texture on that object. So we click on textures tab, okay, click on the textures tab, go to textures, a heart means love, click select and as you can see that's applied that texture to this shape. I could change the colour tint of it to say green and it changes it to green on screen. I'm going to show you more about textures in another tutorial as well because there's only so much we can fit on one tutorial on YouTube because it only allows up to 10 minutes of video. So this is this is it for now but feel free to have a look at 3dmodeldesign.co.uk for more tutorials and to go into more depth into building in Second Life or search for under paper clipping on YouTube. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye bye.